Hello and welcome back to Lady Kokoska's Journey Through Dark Souls 2. Now, things that have changed in the past uh, set. So, we I believe I've leveled up a little bit, as you can see the stats are here. I have also put some points into uh, upgrading the uh, fist weapons here. Uh, that's pretty much all I've done so far. So, sorry but that's my phone. Uh, I've also gained an Estus Flash Shard from the room above where the old lady was. Uh, in the uh, Tower of Flame. Now, the other thing we got left to do is we've actually picked up the mansion key and I'm really sorry about that. Oh, my phone keeps vibrating at me. Uh, let's turn it off. So, uh, we we can explore the mansion. So, there isn't a lot in here at the moment. Um, later on, we will have Kale. Is it Kale the cartographer? I can't remember. I think his name's Kale. I forget. The cartographer bloke, anyway. So, for our trouble, we can gain us a Pharos Lockstone, which is always nice. And uh, we want to go down the stairs. What do we go upstairs first? Let's go upstairs. I'm also experimenting with. I'm going to be playing this at 30 frames instead of 60. It should, in theory, hopefully, actually be less jarring on the video to watch. That's the plan, anyway. So I'd appreciate some feedback on that, if at all possible. And feedback in general is great, how it looks, how it sounds, anything you want to change, such as brightness or anything like that would be great. Because there's going to be a lot of souls and there's a lot of staring at the screen and not a lot of actual story stuff, so getting this right is important in the long run. Now, we need to mosey down to the basement, which is uh, not this way apparently. There's a, there it is. And, uh, well, you'll see. Look, it's an evil skeleton man. <laughs> However, we have the power of punching now, so the skeletons can't do jack shit. Yeah, I got us a nice uh, human ephedery. Excellent. Now, there is a good reason to come down here. One, we get us Nestus Flash Shard, which is absolutely fabulous and really handy early on. And two, we get us this, which is called a Soul Vessel, which is a nice bit of spoiler since it's not the chest. Open. There we go, a Soul Vessel. Now, the Soul Vessel allows us to respec whenever we want, which is incredibly useful. Uh, but to respect, we have to take it to the old ladies. And this isn't running in 30 frames. Sorry, give me a sec. Okay, this is still running at 60 for some reason. I'm just going to have to end this video in a second to sort that out. Anyway, point being, Soul Vessel, if we take it to the old ladies, it will uh, allow us to respect. Now, there is something that would help with the co-op, which I cannot afford to buy as of yet, which is called the Ring of... Uh, Anyway, it's a ring, and what it does, it allows you to choose a god, and anyone who chooses that same god is, um, going to have an easier time connecting. And one thing I didn't explain last time we were here in Medulla, this monument up here basically turns the game into hard mode, essentially putting you into New Game Plus, denying you any access to co-op or anything like that. Which is called the Victor Stone. Uh, you can basically, you can enter the Covenant, I don't think we want to do that, so... There you go, that's what that's for if you really fancy doing it. Now, what we are heading to is Hyde's Tower of Flame, which is down this way. Through a nice, dark, dank passageway. Excellent, lucky for me, and this game is refusing to record in 30 frames, so... Whatever. I guess we'll just have to make do, won't we? Right, um... This little contraption's used for later. Nothing we have to worry about it now. Point being, we're heading to the, uh, land of... High Star Flame, which is nice. Uh, it's like, kind of like a vacation spot, but full of assholes. I suppose, like, real vacation spots. But instead of Germans stealing your towels, it's going to be gigantic nightmen. It's, that's an English joke, by the way. The joke is that the Germans always put their towels down and take take yours, like, early in the day, so you don't get to see... This is for people who actually go on holiday. I, I don't do that. Rather stay in here and play Dark Souls and sit in the dark for hours doing this, editing videos endlessly. That's not true, by the way. Except for the playing the Dark Souls bit. The editing video bit is going to go bite. We I don't know how we run. Oh, we're really, I, I've completely forgot to mention. I did mention at the end of the last video a little bit, but in case someone didn't notice. We are now in Power Stance, which means we can do punches like this. <laughs> and punches like this. Basically, we are now 100% more violent than we were before. Mm. How about you, bitches? Alright. Ice Tower of Flame. So, this is a good opportunity for me to let everyone know on Twitter, I am here and invadable and culpable. 
Okay, as you can see before us now, uh, we have uh, quite a large area in front of us. Quite a pretty looking area as well. Uh, reminds me somewhat of the New London Ruins, kind of the way it's bitty, but instead of being indoors, it's outdoors. Alright, a few things of note then. Over this way is one boss, which we're going to go to first. And over that way is the second boss, which we are not going to go to first, because, well, just because. First things first, we ignore this turd and go straight down and light the bonfire, in case I snuff it. Um, and preferably so we don't get smashed in the back of the head. Can't use bonfire? What? I guess the enemy's too close. Now we back away. So we don't get chopped. Ugh. We're gonna have to kill this wank and then use the bonfire, because I wasn't exactly expecting this to happen. One, two, three. Anyone having trouble fighting these guys? They're actually... Oh, shit. Balls. Anyone having trouble finding you guys, stab. I was about to say, they normally do three swings, but occasionally they will do four, which is exactly what happened there. I was yapping away. I am now dead. This annoys me somewhat. I wish to be undead. I mean, not dead. I suppose not undead. Undead bad. Alright, let's... Let's try this again, preferably without snuffing it, and losing any more of our precious... Uh... Alright. Easy way of doing this. They do three swings normally. And there's the fourth. And we can quickly evade and roll out the way. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Cool. These guys aren't as bad as they look. Uh, I know famous last words can see I just got punched in the face, but uh, they're not. They're just big and stupid, kind of like a lot of the baddies in the first game. So you goad them into attacking. Oh, for God's sake. That was a fabulous example of how to watch your surroundings and not yap too much when you're playing. So you don't get killed. Dap, 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 dap. Oh. These guys rarely do that four strike. They need to be doing an awful lot today. It's a little bit irritating. Uh, let's use one of these. I have three Estus Flasks now, but these kind of need to last me a little while. It's just a bit irritating. Ugh, really? The other problem is, of course, you can't stagger these guys, which is a bit problematic. Oh dear, I'm gonna die again. Ugh. This whole punching thing is not going so well at the moment. Ugh. Much easier when you've got a bit more uh, little room to maneuver. Now, this is what I was actually after. The Sublime Bone Dust is the Firekeeper's uh, souls of the game, which, when going back to Medulla, as I will demonstrate, allows us to burn it as such. Goink. There we go. That has as fast been strengthened now, which is quite useful. Um, I've also given the shard in, which I forgot to do, which is nice. So yeah, easy peasy, huh? Okay, so another attempt. This time we are having slightly upgraded stuff, which is always nice. So let's try this again. And, ooh. Is he going to do a four strike? No. So we're going to beat him up. And then leg it. Ugh! This would have been a better example early on. There we go. Ta-da! Uh, this one didn't respawn oddly. Not sure why. Maybe because there's a mace guy and they're kind of burly. Who knows. Point being, doesn't respawn. Makes life a bit easier. Yoink. And another human effigy, which is good because I've run out. Because of being stupid. Right. You, sir, with the shield. Yes, you. I think slow and steady might be a uh, order of the day here. There we go. Cool. Now, once this guy's dead, we can raise a central platform in here. Ta-da! There we go. And if we can watch slowly from over here, you can see it rising from the sea. Hooray! This, we're basically building the boss arena. We need that. We need it big. <laughs> right. Now, this is where the fun begins. As you can see, there are an awful lot of bloodstains here. Where people try and fight, either get smushed or fall off. Kind of like what I've been doing. You! Fatty! Come here. All we need to do is goad Fatty into striking. Which does three. Might be the other one. They're backing out. 
without getting run over. Smack, smack, smack. Ugh. There we go. Now the other two are going to come along. So what we need to do is, again, try and goad them out. Preferably goading them in a certain way so that they fall off the edge. And so that I don't. You can actually make them strike so they aim towards you and fall off. But this is not going to happen today, is it? No, because this is not my day today. Bollocks to you. Fine. They don't like coming all the way down here. One of them eventually have to go back. Or well, attempt to, I think. But we like to play on a bigger playing field. So bollocks to what they think. Of course we could just leg it past them. Which is another option. Because this is Dark Souls and fighting against your odds is never a smart idea. What we want to do is eat. Like you miss out somewhat. I thought you'd go back. You used to. I must have changed it. Oh well. Of course we can just go. Whoop! Which is always a good idea. I might heal up quickly. Uh, there's nothing wrong with burning your items to get rid of these guys the first time through because they're a massive pain in the ass. And this, the, these two especially. This is probably the one of the harder ones to do. Ouch. Especially when misjudging this section so badly. This is what I was trying to do, which is separate them a bit, so we can just quickly take one of them out. Now, once you're down to one, it's really easy peasy. Well, easier peasier, if there is such a word. And punch him in the friggin' stony bullsack. Yeah, you take that. Okay, so we've basically got three more to go. They'll come one at a time, more or less, at this point, which is nice. We can, of course, just go down to the Dragon Rider, which is the... I suppose the easier of the bosses. In fact, I may do that. Hmm. It might be easier to do so. In fact, yes. I have a plan. It's a sneaky plan, but I didn't expect to take so much damage. Maybe because this punching thing is harder than I thought it would be. And I should probably need to upgrade my armor too. Alright, let's just deal with this fatty first. Stage one of my plan! Not die. Stage two, we can sort of worry about afterwards. Ugh, man. That's a really bad place to drink Estus Lust. Ugh! Oh. These, these are more difficult, I think, with this build, especially, because you... The punching is the problem that normally what we would do... This is my plan, by the way. Normally what you would do is, um... What's the word? You'd um, be able to stagger enemies. Of course, you can't do this right now. Hence the problem. If I could stagger these guys, I could continue punching and evading without much problem. Because I punch and they don't get staggered, I've just got to kind of sit there like a lemon. Now, we get to show off some jolly co-op. Hooray! And you can actually see how efficient it is as well at the moment. I literally put a sign down and blam, I'm in the game. This is also a really good way of getting your humanity back. Um, which, rather than blowing the uh, what's it's like I've been doing, uh, you can just... Hello? How goes? Oh, I see! It wasn't good enough for you! Wow! It's alright, lucky we brought this naked chick along then. Yeah, I, I sympathise, by the way. I started out like that too. Eh, yeah, have we got the same trousers? Nah, not quite. Yeah, might have cooler. Punch it. Okay, we cannot heal, so we need to do this a bit more carefully. It's what I like to call... Oh, you penis! Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't really call it that, but what has happened here is that the man has started the boss without pushing any of the levers. Which, of course, means we're going to get absolutely smushed because there isn't enough room. Right, we'll stay behind the boss. We can, of course, just force the boss at the edge, in theory. What we want to do is not get hit again because we don't have any healing items. We have a life gem. Let's pop that. If I win, or if we ki we kill this guy, then um, no, 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 don't bring him over here, you burk. Um, what was I gonna say? If we win, I get all my Estus flasks and stuff back, which is my goal. If we do not win, then uh, well, <laughs> this should be fairly obvious, really. Now, 
what this guy should have done was, of course, put up the arena to make sure we don't have to fight in the tiniest box with one of the burliest fat men you can find. I'm going to hang back a bit. We need to get him away from the edge. Yeah, otherwise that's going to happen to us, and we don't have a shield. One. We need to go behind him. No, don't bring him here, you turd. There we go. I'm gonna punch the man. Ugh. Oh, dear. Ooh, careful. One needs to distract it, we'll go from behind. Ugh, or not. Come on guys, give him a smack for me. I literally have no health. I one more just one more love tap and I'm done. So if you guys could kill him, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Tyvum, there we go. Now not only do we get ourselves some souls, and seriously dude, push the switches. Let me push the no. No no no. This is not how you want to do this fight. Don't make me go and tell your mother about this, because I bloody well will. Ooh, text message, what's this? We'll bring your washing back in half an hour. Jolly good. My washing machine broke, so my landlady is very nicely doing my washing for me. It's like being back at home. How nice is that? Now, good stuff. We now have our blast back. Hooray! Which means we can do this fight ourselves. Now, anyone I recognise from the Twitter, I'm going to quickly stop and say I'm outside of the um, outside of the thingy. And I'll tell people to put it by the treasure chest. That's probably the easiest thing. So do excuse me a second. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any of the uh, YouTube, uh, the Twitter people here, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna quick scan through. Uh, apologies if you did put your sign down and wanted to join in, but uh, no one seems to be here that I recognise anyway. So we'll pro we'll progress through. Now you guys have just seen this fight. There's not an awful lot more to show you, but uh, this is how it normally looks. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer. So what we can do, we go around this side of him. Ooh, we're supposed to roll that, mind you. Punch him a bit. <clears throat> like, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult than absolutely necessary, mainly because, well, I don't have a weapon that's uh, not punchy based. However, I'm doing reasonable damage to him. He doesn't do that much damage. He's a particular. He's a fairly easy boss. We just need to stay away from the wide swings like that, really. Excuse me, sir. The wide swings are the ones that are going to get you killed the most. Ugh! That was just silly. So. Slow and steady wins the race again, I think, with this one. Let's just... I want to try and goad out the long one. Oop. Yeah, those are the problematic ones. Ugh, Jesus. Not having a block is really weird to get used to. I don't like it. At least because of block, if you fluff your roll, at least you've got the block there. Uh, I complete dual wielding is really strange. <sighs> I don't know if you can stagger him like that. Interesting. It's not quickly swig. Never run away. Like a coward. Laters! Whoop. There we go. Go the two shots in and go for it. <laughs> he cared not about that time. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> getting it's, it's almost like getting used to playing the game again fresh without a shield. You've got to play in a completely different way. Ow. I need to go this so I don't die. There we go. Last yes, this flask. Of course I could just chip damage him to death. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Punch him in the balls, he dies. Okay, uh, my grand plan of uh, being able to survive all the next section without any Estus Flask is probably not going to happen. Uh, what I may do is quickly light this bonfire. Also, hooray, we did the boss. Whoop, whoop. I might level up as well. It's tempting, tempting. Now, first things first, this lady here. Are you from these parts? No, not really. 
My name is Lysia. That's nice of it. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. Oh, really? I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But the cost of it, that's for your heart to decide. Now, we of course can buy things from her, uh, absolutely no point. One, because we're not doing miracles, and two, because we don't have enough money. What we will do, however. I'd heard awful rumours about this place. Again. The king, gone. The if you. I fear that by now. I hate to skip the text, but if I want to actually get this done with any reasonable time, I'm going to have to start skipping through the optional text of these people. If you do want to read it, uh, you can just pause the video. So, apologies. Why did I come here? Do I need any other reason than my preceptor always said this art, and such is my only. There is something fun we can do with this lady uh, later on, which is. Well, let's put it this way, any any fans of uh, a certain man in Dark Souls 1 will appreciate it, so. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is. Yeah, yeah. And being out here all alone. Oh, it's terrible. I expected this cathedral to be bustling without any goings up to a place I could, sorry, help the gullible. She's not a nice lady. No need for the no. gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we've lit the bonfire. What I'm going to do is do another one of the um, thingy bobbers. Uh, Carp, so I can get all my stuff back. I want to get across the other side. Whether we can or not. Ugh, actually, I should level up first. I, I think I think it's worth leveling up, actually. Mainly because I'm pissed terrified I'm going to lose all my souls. This is a bit more difficult than I anticipated it was going to be. So, I'm going to go level up, so do it.